I have didactic identity. I know who I am. And I can conjure up some kind of ritual or some kind of song or some kind of poem or some kind of quote that will express that. I come from a people who taught me to always have space in myself for the ghost. The fact that I'm of mixed heritage means that I'm an insider and an outsider even in the communities that I'm most connected to. You know, so that I can always look at my own cultures as, and my own traditions as something that carry a lot of the, the greatest wisdom of my people over the years and also the greatest foolishness. And it helps me to be able to struggle in a way that is really rooted in culture, but without romanticizing it, without making it something sort of shallow and all perfect. I was neither white or black, so I was, I've always been in the place in between. And I've been incredibly privileged in my life in terms of having opportunities and schooling and positions, um, you know, professional positions and what have you. And um, my, my whole career, my work, um, really is in that place in between, trying to be the channel switcher, trying to be the person that, that um, is able to bridge some of those traditional divides. And, I, and I've had to do a lot of work and I have to continue to do a lot of work to um, undo the education that I've had all along um, to really get to a place where um, we can all talk together. Because race has been such a part of my experience without choosing it to be, like I fell into the role of teacher, I fell into the role of educator of my peers and my people who were calling themselves my teachers and everybody in my environment, that that kind of ended up being my career but it didn't really feel like a career that I chose. It just felt like the career that I was born into. Healing is something that has been really important to me and that I hope I pass on to other young people. It's important to be in the streets and it's important to fight and it's important to march and agitate, but, but we don't want to produce more wounded healers. You know, we also want to create the space and the time to reflect and understand that like healing is just as powerful of a change-making force as anything else. Life is really about creating community with the person next to you and uh, creating that community intentionally. So I, and there's no such thing as it just happens. You have to create things intentionally. And so it's this interesting piece of don't go to guilt. We don't have time for it. If, if, if racism, white supremacy is like a house on fire in this society, we don't have time to say, I feel so bad about that house burning down. I mean, get the bucket and the hose and get busy. That's what we need to be doing. It's we can do this if we choose to.